In this video, we'll be looking for pivot tables, some more advanced for grouping thing. Let's see that. I'm on the sheet right now as pivot for grouping. That's the fourth example I'm going on. So this is the data which I'm taking for the previous example. I want to create a pivot table with respect to that such that the months should be grouped according to the years like this. So for 2016 year, I have July, August, September, October. Similarly, for 2017, I want July, August, September, October. So I'm trying to, you know, uh, distinguish or you can say characterize based on the years. How do I group all these dates? These are dates not in the group properly. So I want to make into the months and years. So how do I do that? So I'll just keep my cursor in the data and I'll go to this insert tab to create a pivot table. Click on this pivot table. I'll get two questions, which is for the source data and uh, destination. Source data is by default selected. If you see the dancing ants already selected, I want to paste in the existing worksheet and I want to paste it exactly below this. So it's easy to understand whether I'm growing properly or not. I'll click on OK. So once I click on OK, now if you see what exactly I want in the row labels, I want dates. So I'll just bring this pivot field list here, expand this and I'll bring this date in the row labels. Bring this date in the row labels. Yeah. So you see now in the newer version 2016, you do not have to group it by default. It is grouped what it is grouped into. It is grouped into the years, quarters and dates, which is available here. If you expand, you see the quarters are given. If you expand again, again, the months are given. But in the previous version, what type of version you get it? They are ungrouped. How they are ungrouped? I'll just right click on this place and click on this ungroup. So previous version of Excel from 2016, if you go backward 2013, 10, 7 and you know, 3, you get this kind of data, which is ungrouped. So what you have to do is you have to manually group the dates. How do you group it? Just right click on this, any date cell number and you have to click on group. So once you click on group, it will ask you, how do you want to group? Do you want to group in months, years and quarters? So I'll select as months and click on OK. So if you see, I've, uh, I've got the dates, they have compressed into different months. That is July, August, September, October. But now it might be difficult to tell me, okay, which year July, which year August, which year, you know, September. So what I have to do is I have to group again into different years. So I'll just right click on this option and I can see as I want to group it. Now I'll select group of months and years. That's it. Two options and I'll click on OK. So once I click on OK, if you see 2016 July, 2017 July, 2017 August. So I'm able to understand uh, months belongs to which year. So it's properly done here. Next one, if you see what I have, I have sales in this column place. So I'll just drag the sales and bring in the values. Let me just verify 2016 July, it's 4315, 4315, which is coming approximately correct. Now what I want is, if you see here, it's giving us years and months, but what else, here it is giving us row labels. So I want to bring the row labels properly. How do I bring it? I'll just move it on the right hand side. It's done. Yeah. So I'll click inside. Yeah. So here, how I do it, I'll just keep my cousins in the pivot table, go to this design tab and click on this report layout. The third format, that's the tabular format. It will bring me in this type of format. So I'll get the years, that's the row heading and same way the dates. Now the difference, if you find there's no difference, only the thing is I have to change the name of the column for the sales. So I'll just double click on that, double click on that. I'll get a dialog box and I'll change the name as sales to because sales I have already applied to some previous pivot table. So it will not take it and I'll click on OK. So once you click on OK, I hope you have got this. So this way the table is given. Yeah, there's one more thing which is given here. They do not want here. Uh, one is the buttons. So how do I remove the buttons? I have, go, I have to go to this uh, pivot table tools in this place analyze and I have to click on this button. So button is gone here. Next is grand total is not available. So I have to remove that grand total. Go to design and go to grand total and say as off for rows and columns, the grand total is done. So I hope we have prepared this table perfectly. And uh, yeah, the last thing which is left is the decimal. There's no decimal in this column. So I have to remove the decimal also. How do I remove decimal? I'll just double click on this place. That's a shortcut method. And I have double click on the sales. That's the column heading. And I'll go to this number format and I'll make zero decimal. So I'll go to this number, make it as zero decimal. Zero decimal, click on OK and click on OK. So you see the decimals are zero. I'll just expand this. Yeah. So 4315198 all the numbers are given perfectly. So I hope you have understood how to create this kind of table and uh, that's all for this video.